Hello, dear viewers. Thank you for joining me for your daily tarot reading. I ask you to choose the stone that draws you, the one that resonates with your intuition. And we'll begin. We'll do a golden nugget card at the end for further clarification if you'd like that. Okay, for those of you who chose the yellow stone, we have the strength card, we have the five of wands, and we have the two of coins. So these are great cards. Yes, the strength card is divine strength and protection. And maybe that you feel like you need that because um, you've been busy, it's a lot to juggle. You're, you're juggling sources of security. This could be money, trying to balance a budget. It could be trying to balance your life, you know, health, work, family, all those kinds of things. And there might be some conflict either around you or within internal conflict. Just, you know, people trying to sort out their needs, their wants, their goals, that kind of thing, trying to, trying to do that together. People who have to work together for some reason or another, trying to, you know, with competing ideas, just the natural kind of conflict that comes. But, you know, you may have more of that lately. And now the strength card is your major arcana, though. That's the one that says you have strength and you are enduring through all of this. And your strength is the kind of quiet strength that can soothe the savage beast. You know, it's the kind of quiet strength that is, is true strength, actually. That's what true strength is. That kind of um, strong in, in what you know, strong in what you believe, strong in your priorities, strong in your understanding of other people, yes. But also, this is sort of an acceptance of protection from the universe as well, like guidance and protection from the universe. You have that. You have, it's a reassurance too. It's a reassurance that you have that. So if you've been worrying about anybody, um, yeah, frankly, you've been worried about anyone you have, you're not in agreement with, um, this is clearly saying, don't worry, you have divine strength and protection. You have my protection. That's like source is saying that. So that's reassuring. For those of you who chose this pink stone, very interesting. We have, oh, wow. We have the emperor. We have the knight. I mean, the, the magician. <laughs> The Magician and the Two of Swords. Okay, so manifestation, doing what's right, taking charge. Wow, this is a real take charge kind of reading. However, there may be something that you're, you don't have um, a decision about, something that you are waiting for clarity on. That's okay, that's okay. You do what's right, you know, you do what's right, you do what's logical, you do what makes sense, and you'll get there. You're, you're manifesting terrific things. And I'm assuming because the emperor is with that magician card that the manifestation is involving just staying the course, doing what's right, doing what makes sense, doing what will get you results. Also believing that you deserve them. Also, you know, having that sort of authoritative kind of presence where, yes, you know, I am... I am doing the right thing. I am earning this. I am bringing this forward. I am bringing this into my existence. That is correct that I'm, that I'm manifesting this good thing. It's almost like that. And this two of swords, there may be two different ways of looking at something, two different paths, two different plans. It's okay. It's okay to not know exactly and to wait for clarity. Because, right, your intuition may lead you. There's the moon. But as long as you're doing what's right and what makes sense in the moment, things will continue to go well and you'll continue to manifest. That's what I've got there. That's a good reading. For those of you who chose this turquoise stone, we have minor arcana, five of coins, nine of swords, four of wands. 
All right, these are minor arcana, not a huge deal, just things in your day. Maybe there is a temptation to worry about something, or maybe you were worrying last night, or it was sort of disrupt, something was disrupting your sleep, some thinking. Yeah, and then, then that's a little tough sometimes, right? We can go into our day sometimes feeling not entirely prepared, maybe even feeling a little like this, like worried about lack, worried about um, lack of security for some reason whether that's money or health or a larger security, worried about lack of security. But you know what? There we have this Four of Wands, which is a lovely, stable card. Like things are actually improving in your household. Things are actually, yeah, you're actually kind of building, establishing. This is sort of a, a contentment. This is sort of... Um, Oh, it's almost like accomplishment. This card can come up when we want to improve our house physically or we're, we're preparing for a gathering perhaps or the, just the emotional tenor of our home improves. It's just, I like the stability of the Four of Wands. Like it's set, it's established. So in other words, if you're feeling, worrying about lack of security, it's probably more having to do with maybe, maybe your sleep wasn't terrific. You know, so in other words, no, actually, actually here you are building. So don't worry. That's what I'm seeing here. Yeah. Okay. Four. The golden nugget card for further clarification. If anybody likes to answer some lingering questions from their reading, we have the king of swords. You're smart. You're intelligent. You've got a good plan. Go with it. That's what that is. Sometimes the King of Swords is sort of like a relief in a way. You know, he just puts emotion aside. He's just going to put it over there. I'm just doing what makes sense today. I'm following my plan today. And that's what I'm doing. <laughs> you know, I'm speaking out of that. You know, so he may um, be actually the King of Swords is quite assertive. Um, may cut something away that doesn't fit for today. <laughs> you know, may, may, um, Yeah, just sweep away all the complexities sometimes. Sometimes it's nice to sweep away everything that's a little ambiguous, a little complex, a little emotionally laden. You kind of sweep that aside for the moment, maybe not in, not forever, but for now, and just go with your plan. Go with what your logic is telling you. Sometimes that's a real relief. And frankly, sometimes that can, if, if there's some, um, oh, kind of cup energy, you know, like the, uh, sometimes with our emotions, we can get mucky, muck around in them a little bit, right? And so sometimes, you know, spending time doing, going with logic just clears that all out. <laughs> so it's good. All right. Well, I thank you so very much. I hope you have a terrific day. Thank you for watching and liking. Take care. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.